any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? We have lived on. Cool. That's what we do here. Yo, stay good out there. Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? Do you now? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. That won't be necessary. The Trade Authority isn't interested in employing someone so unreliable. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince him to pay his debts, we'd be most grateful. Just this one time? I am all too aware that once one starts doing favors for the Trade Authority, it can be difficult to stop. Why? Feeling charitable? 
I don't recall the exact figure off the top of my head, but with the interest it's accrued, I believe it's something substantial. So if you were able to find him and convince him to clear his accounts, you would have our honest gratitude. Yes, not everything needs to be a transaction. Hmm. Pity. Perhaps a little advance on my part might pique your interest. Visit the Sixth Circle, a bar on the lowest level of the city. If someone in Sidonia knows where Percival is, you'll find them there. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Doc Walker? Well, you're barking up the wrong... Andy. You. Why don't you come here and tell me what some stray wants with Walker? Not every day a stray topsider wanders into my bar claiming they know people. What do you want with Dr. Walker? That's so. Hmm. Now if that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. All right. Maybe she did send you. Or maybe you just know where to buy your fakes. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. Well... Most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct, if you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. Crossing the Trade Authority could be perilous. There are real stakes here. But, uh, one friend of Hadrian's to another. Sidonia's full of old utility spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the Authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, and you might need these. And I look forward to hearing the good news. Hey, you! Maybe Hadrian's friend. Come here. Heard you talking with Lou, so you're going to help Dr. Walker? Thank you for oh, good, good. Oh, Percival's a good guy. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh, I know what comes next. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the Trade Authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern-day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore.
Oh, yeah, yeah. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel, and I can walk you through finishing the research. Can you slip for a moment? Detonation occurs in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. 
quickly, and the effects can be deadly. We should keep that in mind. Alert. Best to assume we have not seen the last of these spacers. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in that pocket.
for a moment?
they have anything of value? If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. Did you need something? Not all of the resources have been stripped of these caves, it seems. No way we can get through this. The caves in the back might be a suitable alternative. quarters ahead, perhaps? Filled with more spacers, no doubt. I have things I wish to discuss with you.
wish to discuss with you when you have time. on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Hey, hey, you looking for anything in particular? Sounds like a plan. I can also take stuff off your hands too, if that's something you're interested in. Come back anytime. Ask me what I think about mining. <laughs> I know the Deimos employees here on Mars think I'm overbearing, but what they don't know is that I've saved this operation. The Lux condos aren't anything special, but plenty of people call them home. Can you get that done? I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able.
so. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to sense. Careful down near the mines, and enter any active sites at your own risk. Yeah. Not something you want to say too loud now, but... Good work. Here. Go dig our man out of his pit. You've got the slate? Let me see. Reduced joint wear? Oh, increased lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff could make a miner way more efficient. This formula's gotta be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever wanna try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Was there something else? Do you now? Very well. Let me take a look at his... Hmm, that's not the number I remember. Headquarters must have felt sorry for the old man. Here, his current balance. I expect this won't be a great hardship for you. Hmm. Then I suppose that's that, then. Dr. Walker's debt is officially no longer a problem. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him, please let Percival know I'm eagerly looking forward to never working with him again. Fine work. My end of the bargain, then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. Place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Was also going to warn you about spaces down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Here, the passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. If you have the time, I wish to
you must be the one who got me out of the red with the trade authority. Can't say I don't appreciate it. But I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing nefarious old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Tissue sample? You came all the way down here for that? Must be some damn important cells. You want to tell me what I'm about to be staring at? A fast-growing pteromorph. That is concerning. Who exactly told you to bring this to me? Hadrian. She's... She gave you this? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Time, I wish to speak to you. Yes, you need me? Gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the debt. Managed to uh, negotiate it down to something more reasonable. Good to see someone give the Trade Authority a bit of their own medicine. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample... It's... Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in a slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was a city wiped completely off the map by terramorphs. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they looked just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Termorph should. Which means... If we're about to start a new era in human terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. The chances for survival, let alone maintaining any kind of functioning society, would be slim indeed. So, you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You wanna tell me what your plans are for it now? The Circle, huh? <sighs> Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going.
clutch of heat leeches, uh... You're an old man now. <laughs> you know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. gave me the abridged version of what went down. I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. That's... well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news, that's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's gonna take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the Archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti, with both of us. Well, that's about the best news I've had all day. But before you commit, I want to make sure you know the whole story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Oh. Well, that, um. That means a lot. It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying Terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the Cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. Is something amiss? You should give that recipe a whirl on Percival's research test. The city of Sidonia is proud to be a Surprise terror
something 